Senior Life Journeys presents Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia, a podcast designed to help caregivers find knowledge, power, hope, and smiles in their dementia caregiving journey. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. Here is your host, best-selling author, Carol Howell. Welcome to Let's Talk Dementia. I'm Carol Howell, your internationally certified dementia practitioner. I'm glad you've chosen to join me today. Did you see my little dog just leave the room? I guess she's bored. I don't know. (laughs) Well, today I want to talk to you about how things are not always what they seem. Recently, we've been doing a lot of talking about preventing Alzheimer's and thought we'd just take a little break from that and um, talk about life. So, Today, um, I've had kind of a weird day. It's been, I call it a a weepy mama day, weepy mama morning. Um, I heard the song um, on the Gaither Vocal Channel, which I love the Gaither Vocal Band, and I listen to their music a lot of times. And this trio of women, I don't know who they were, sang the song Angels in the Room. And it was talking about a man who was passing, and he was saying to his family, Look, don't you see, there are angels in the room. Well, it took me back very quickly to May 31st um, when my mama passed, and um, it was sad for me, and it still is, obviously. I think about that day, and I think about her passing and how beautiful and, and, and wonderful and, and full of the Holy Spirit that day was. But in my heart, when I think about it, it's painful. And I don't know that it's something I'll ever get over, and I don't really think I want to. I want to always have that strong connection to my mama, and I know I will. But when you see me out in public, I'm always smiling. I'm always happy. My makeup looks much better than it looks right now because, well, I've been crying. You might not know in passing what has gone on in my life for the last 13 years Um, and watching Mama go from being a vibrant uh, working woman who could outsell anybody in the store no matter what the product making me oh so happy every time she knocked on my door bringing me sonic cherry limeades with extra cherries because she knows that's what she knew that's what I liked to becoming a woman who when she looked at me did not know who I was you know how hard that is if you're not there yet in your journey if your loved one sticks around long enough you're going to experience that and it's painful it hurts so when you see me out in public you would have no clue of that it just makes me think about there are people in our world well let me just back that up everybody we meet literally everybody we meet um is dealing with something that we don't know about. We don't know if they're caregivers. We don't know if they have been abandoned, if they have been abused. Maybe they are in a very stressful and awful life situation where they're being physically, mentally, sexually, financially, whatever kind of abuse they're receiving. Maybe they're being bullied at school. Maybe they're different for whatever reason. And they're being made to feel less than. Maybe they're mourning. Maybe they're grieving. Maybe they've lost a job. Maybe they've lost their home. They've lost their income. Maybe they've lost their mama, their daddy, their husband, their wife, their sibling, their best friend. You just don't know. And so what I want to say to you today is be aware of that. You are not the only person in the world who is dealing with tough times. Thanksgiving's coming. Christmas is around the corner. Those are extremely difficult times for many, many people. The suicide rate is higher between now and the first of the year than any other time of the year because holidays are hard. It's hard being around family sometimes that may not be accepting of you for whatever reason. It's hard being around families that don't understand your grief, that don't acknowledge it, and maybe are not acknowledging it in their own world. It's hard sometimes to pull up your big girl panties and keep going for the day. But I want you to know that when you're meeting up with these people and you're realizing that 
everything is not what it appears to be, that behind that, or in front of that, in addition to that, we need to bring smiles. We need to bring hope. We need to bring words of encouragement. We need to let folks know we are there for them. I have a friend who donates to our company monthly, and I'm so thankful for all of you folks who donate to our ministry so that we can keep paying for these podcasts <laughs> and these videos that you watch. Her cards make me so happy. There's nothing profound. It's just she took a moment to write and tell me what's going on in her world and, and to thank me for helping her in her journey. But just hearing from her, that that touch in my world just means a lot to me. I was writing her today thanking her for that. People's lives are not all what they seem and I know in her world she's dealt with a lot of grief from the passing of her sister. People deal with a lot. Look at this picture. What do you see? You should see an owl. And this picture was actually taken after I had spoken one night in North Carolina back in October. And the lady I was with went, look, there, it's an owl. And I went, where is the owl? And it had flown right over my head, landed in the tree, and she got that picture. Isn't it incredible? I think it is absolutely a gorgeous picture. But look at the purple in the background. Oh, well, that's not what you think it is. To me, it looked like maybe purple flowers in the background, purple something in the tree, but it's the dark night sky. See, things aren't what they appear to be. We see one thing, but what actually might be could be something totally different. You know, you have to think about that. Think about that when it comes to your loved one. What they are experiencing is probably not what you think they are experiencing. What they are seeing is certainly not what you're seeing. Their vision has changed so much. What they are wishing for and hoping for and desirous of, I don't think we can begin to imagine. And the stress that they feel from not being able to participate in life, mm -mm, we don't have a clue. I can teach you about it. I can try to help you understand, but I don't know. And you don't, no one knows because the people who do know can't tell us about it. But it's got to be, it's just got to be a very agonizing thing to be in a room full of people and not be able to participate in life with them. That's what your loved one's going to feel like at Thanksgiving and at Christmas and maybe New Year's and whenever, whenever you get the family together. They want to be a part of the world. They want to be able to participate. They look like they should be able to. Man, up until January of this year, Mama died in May, up into January, if you were to visit Mama, you might not even guess just by looking at her that she had advanced stage Alzheimer's and would be leaving us in five months. Things are not what they seem. But she was dealing with a lot, and she was confused a lot, and she was frustrated a lot, and she even had pain. Things are not what they seem. And being aware of that when you're taking care of your loved one is important. But helping your friends to be aware of that as they interact with you, that's sort of kind of maybe a little bit your responsibility. Because until you've cared give in a, in a specific situation, especially dementia, then you don't understand it. And if your friends have not been through that caregiving experience, they don't know what you're going through. So maybe just a little word from you that says, I'm having a weepy mama morning. I feel like poo-poo. And it's messed my makeup all up. And I don't need you to solve anything for me right now. But if you could just put your arms around me while I cry, well, that would mean a lot to me. I've told my husband that. I said, if I start crying, you don't have to fix it. You just have to hold me. And as my friend Linda told me, she said, Carol, when those moments come, let them come. Let them wash over you and fill you, but let them leave. Hmm. Gotta let them leave today. See how red it makes my face? And I just put on my makeup. Oh, my word. Well, I hope that you've gotten some words of wisdom from me today with my teary-eyed self. And for you folks who don't have this on video form and you're listening to it, um, maybe you can go to our website and 
pull up this video and see that beautiful picture of the owl. It is quite something. I hope you have a good day. Blessings and smiles. Bye-bye. Let's Talk Dementia would like to thank our sponsors, National Association of Veterans and Families. You can reach them at 800-352-2919 on the internet at www.navf.org. They speak veterans so you don't have to. And you tell them Carol sent you when you call to inquire about benefits for the veteran, the spouse of the veteran, or both. Editor Beth, you can find Ms. Beth Crosby at EditorBeth.com. She is amazing at looking at what you've written and making sure it represents you well. Find her at www.EditorBeth.com. And HD Imports, located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That's York County. 803-985-0985. They are there for the, hun the repair and maintenance of your Honda, Hyundai, Toyota, Kia. Tell them Carol sent you. Thanks for joining us today for Carol Howell's Let's Talk Dementia. To learn more about dementia, we recommend Carol's best-selling book, also titled Let's Talk Dementia. It's available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle versions. Be sure to like Let's Talk Dementia on Facebook and leave us a kind word of review on iTunes. Remember, knowledge brings power. Power brings hope. Hope brings smiles. And we all need more smiles. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll be right here when you come back to Let's Talk Dementia.